Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your Tarascope. I'm doing a special Tarascope reading today for only the Gemini sign. First of all, it's birthday. So happy birthday to all the Geminis. Today is Friday, May 24th. We're going to set this intention for May 24th to June 24th. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now. If I can pick them up. They didn't want me to pick that one up. <laughs> to come in. And help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Gemini. What do my Geminis need to know? From May 24th to June 24th. Show them the messages they need to see. All right. That guy over there, what we got here? The Four of Cups, okay. Yes, I'm a perfectionist, I'm sorry, it's a sickness. <laughs> Pull three Kipper cards before we start. Kippers, what do you gotta say for the Zodiac sign of Gemini? What are my Gemini friends need to know from May 24th? Well, that's too many cards. Hold on. From May 24th to June 24th, show my Gemini friends the messages they need to see. I'm not going to fast forward through my shuffling. I had some people say that I shuffled too much, but I like to shuffle till the cards fall out because that's what gives me the best reading, the best clarity. Great fortune. See, see what happens if you just wait for the cards to fall out. <laughs> Gemini. Courthouse. And adjudication. Uh-oh. Somebody's going through something legal here. Getting a big payoff. All right. Look, <laughs> bottom of the deck is wealthy man. Wow. Okay. So anyway, I want to tell you a couple things before we start, Gemini. I'm not only doing this bonus reading for you today because it's your birthday. I'm also doing it as a special thank you. In the month of April, I hit my thousand subscribers. And it was mostly due to the Gemini video about money and love that got, last I looked, over 40,000 views. So I just wanted you to know that it was greatly appreciated. And this is the only way I can figure to pay you back and show my appreciation. I'm also going to give away one $50 Amazon gift card to one lucky viewer. I can't even say Gemini because I'm not even going to have control over whether the person's an actual, a real Gemini or not, because some people are, are moon and rising Geminis and you know, they deserve it just as well. But if you watch this video today and you follow the instructions that I'm about to give you, you are going to be eligible for the $50 gift card as well. The only thing that you have to do to be eligible to win is make a comment below this video. I'm looking for a certain kind of comment though. I want to call it like constructive criticism. I want to know what you either like or dislike about my readings. What you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. Are the videos too long? Are the videos too short? Do you want more love? Do you want more career? Do you like the way I lay out the cards? Do you like the cards that I use? I'm looking for ways to improve my channel and, you know, make my viewers happy. So I want to know what you want to see more of or what you want to see less of. 
after I receive all the comments on June 8th, I'm actually going to print the comments out and cut them into little strips of paper. And I'm going to put them into a big hat, bowl, something, whatever I can find to fit them all. And I'm going to draw the person's name live on camera. I figured that's the only way that I can really be fair in picking a person. I can't just look at the names, read the comments and pick someone because it just kind of seems unfair. So I'm going to do what I feel because everything happens for a reason. And I feel like if I go through all the work and cut up all the strips of paper and put them in the hat, the angels are going to give it to someone who either really needs it or really deserves it. And that's what I want to happen. Now, when I do pick the winner, I want you to know that it is going to be that person's responsibility to contact me. I am not like I already looked on YouTube to try and find a way to contact a person and you just can't. So once I announce your name, you're going to have to send me an email to let me know that you're you. And I'm going to do a couple things to make you prove that you're really you. But I would suggest that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the winning video. And maybe even hit the little notification bell next to subscribe so you'll get notified when the video comes up because I'm actually going to be on vacation for a couple weeks and I won't be back until June 8th. So that's going to be the next video that I'm going to put up. So you won't be overloaded with notification bell after notification bell. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I am sorry that I only have one gift to give away. I really, really wish it could be more. I love you all and I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you've already done that or if you're about to do it. This is a general reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If I am picking up on your energy in this video, please click the little thumbs up button below the video to let me know that. If I'm not picking up on your energy in this particular reading, there's also a link in the description box below where you can check your moon and your rising sign and maybe you can go watch one of those other two videos and see if you resonate with one of them. All right, I think I talked your ear off enough. I think you know what to do. Let's get on with your reading. The first card that we have is the Justice card, Sign of Libra. So I do want to definitely say before, I know I already like pointed it out with the Kipper cards, there's definitely a legal case going on here, or somebody wants a fair decision in something. But this is all about truth, justice, karma, police officers, lawyers, and judges. The justice card is always about equality. So the judge, you know, makes a decision to, and decides to give each person what they deserve. That's why it's karma. The next card that we have is the chariot. Sign of Cancer. The chariot is all about success and victory and moving forward. If this is a legal, legal case that you're in, those two cards together right there tell me that this decision is going to go in your favor. So be confident. The next card that we have is the Ace of Cups in Reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Now that does represent unhappiness. Someone feels lonely. Someone feels sad. It's like a sad goodbye. I feel like somebody's leaving here with the chariot, the ace of cups. I don't even know why I just said a sad goodbye. And this lover's card in reverse. I feel like somebody's leaving like probably a job. Somebody, somebody getting a job at the courthouse. But that's about someone who's not feeling loved, a new beginning that just isn't happening yet. The next card we have is the Five of Swords in Reverse. So somebody hurt your feelings and they're sorry now. It's about forgive and forget, moving on from the conflict. The fight is over. Like, you know, there's just no sense in arguing about this anymore. Let's just take it to court. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Which brings in the next card, the Lovers in Reverse, Sign of Gemini. Sorry, this is Aquarius if I didn't say that. So this tells me that there's some type of broken agreement. 
two people are not on the same page. Two people are not agreeing. We definitely could have some unfaithfulness here with this three of swords in reverse on top of the, or underneath the lovers. But it's just about disharmony. Like someone's not going to argue over it anymore. We're just going to break up and that's going to be the end of that. And somebody's definitely sad about it. We got double sadness here. But the next card you have coming in is the magician. There's your one. There's your new beginning. You are manifesting. You are determined, determined to accomplish your goals. Powerful energy there. I feel like someone has just, you know, made a decision here to end a partnership and move into a new direction. Business owner, they just don't feel loved at their certain job or at their current job, or they don't love their job. You know, who does love their job though, honestly? But with this four of cups here, you know, someone's sad and someone wants something more. They just don't feel fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled. This great fortune card is the best card in the Kipper deck. Somebody's manifesting some great fortune. But this is being very focused on your future. The next card we have is the King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius does not have to be a male. But because he's looking at this Hierophant, I feel like he's the new person coming in, offering you some type of commitment here. But he is known as the leader, the boss, the CEO. Gets things done. Could be a job interview. There's a lot of confidence and determination. There's three good cards right here. There's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of power here. Someone's manifesting and being very creative about something. The next card we have is the Three of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. Well, somebody's definitely sorry. Somebody wants forgiveness. Something, something here. Somebody's starting to heal from a heartbreak because this Knight of Cups is your apology. This guy doesn't want to fight anymore. This to me is, I call it painful communication. It's something that needs to be said that is not going to be easy for someone. Like admitting they're wrong or saying they're sorry. You know, people have a hard time doing that. The next card we have is the Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And that's about an offer. Once again, moving forward, an offer of love. He's all about calmness and peace and following your heart. He's a dreamer. He moves very slowly. So I feel, I don't feel a lot of quick energy here at all. The only quick moving card I feel is the chariot. So somebody could have made a decision here to go to the courthouse. Okay, I got my feelings hurt. I'm not going to fight with this person anymore. I'm going to break up. I'm going to start manifesting. I'm going to go to the courthouse and we're going to get the judge here to get us a divorce. But somebody else is saying, no, wait, please. I love you. I'm sorry. Now this goes for a job as well. If you're feeling unappreci unappreciated at your job and you decide to go in a new direction and leave and manifest something else, they're not going to be happy about it. Somebody wants to leave and somebody doesn't want this to happen. Judication is all about waiting, waiting for a decision. And courthouse explains itself. I mean, it's legal documents. Great fortune doesn't always have to be money. I have to point that out. It can be wealth in many ways, health, happiness, love, career. But I am seeing five, five, and this equals a five. Three fives is change. So something's about to change for somebody. But this higher fan, this was the extra card that fell out, sign of Taurus, is also about government, organization. I feel like somebody could be changing jobs and like either leaving the government job or going to a government job. But these people here in the, in the Hierophant card are begging him. They're known as beggars. So that's why I said somebody doesn't want this to happen. The Four of Cups sign of cancer could be rejection. So let's see if you're going to accept this person's apology or not. If someone did something to you, if you're suing an employer or just a person taking someone to court for something that they did to you, they're very sorry and regretful for what they did, but I just feel like somebody's saying, too late. Let's pull some clarifiers. 
see where this is going. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Gemini. What do my Gemini friends need to know? Page of Cups, another apology about this reading on the table. Oh, show them the message. They need to see. Uh, two, three. Magician again. World. Angels, can I have one more card, please, for the zodiac sign of Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? All right, we got two. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. We'll put the Knight of Swords over here so you can see it. I didn't even check my camera. I hope you can see all these cards. The Devil. Ugh. All right, let's see what we got. So the first card's the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy again. And that's about a message of love. Someone expressing feelings, someone saying they're sorry. This could represent a child that you have with this person. Actually, there's two children here. I got another page. But it's about email, text messages, a, a card in your mailbox. The next card we have is the Ace of Cups in reverse. I mean, we already talked about that. That's why someone's moving forward here. Because their feelings got hurt, because they're unhappy, because they're sad. They just don't feel loved. They don't feel appreciated. The next card we have is the Six of Wands reversed. Leo, on top of the no new beginning, no success, no victory. Not even going to give this any attention. I'm going for my new beginning. Someone else trying to take credit for something that you did. That's why you're taking them to court. I'll show you. I'm going to knock you right off your high horse. And in comes the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm not going to fight about this anymore. I'm going to go get my new stable beginning with a lot of potential. It's about an opportunity. It's a blessing from the universe. A new job with more money. A new relationship with more stability. We got two aces, three aces in reverse. Wait, one, two, three aces in reverse, and then the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. There's a lot of ones here. So somebody's starting something new, even with the ones that are in reverse. This chapter is almost closed. There's a little bit of unfinished business here. The next card you have is the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And look at that little boy on there. He's screaming and yelling. He got some good news that he wants to tell everybody about. It's a message. He's enthusiastic and excited. The next card we have, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, in reverse. So I feel like somebody's not even speaking here. I feel like somebody just doesn't even want to give someone the time of day. It, it does also represent confusion. So someone could be confused here whether to go back to this energy and forgive this person or to move forward. With this devil over here, I feel like somebody's not telling the truth. Ooh, the emperor too. There's a lot of major arcanas here. That means the universe is here. The universe is taken over. This is all happening for a reason. Somebody could be lying in court. But I just feel like it's causing like either you're not speaking, you're not acknowledging the person, but you're also not sure if you're doing the right thing. But with this magician card being on top of this king of wands, that's really good energy there. I mean, you have the magician here twice and the ace of pentacles, the chariot, the justice card. You're manifesting a new beginning here to either be the leader of your own business a job promotion where you're going to be the boss. You're focused, dedicated, committed, confident. More confidence over here. The next card we have is the world card reversed. And that's why the chapter's not closed because this person came back with an apology. 
They're like, wait, hold on. We'll give you more money. Don't leave us. Nope. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's almost there. Someone's hesitant on closing this chapter and moving forward. The Seven of Pentacles reverse, sign of Taurus, you know, not receiving the return on the investment, on all the hard work and effort and everything that you put in, not being acknowledged. Somebody has made a decision to leave someone or something, but because this person came back and apologized, even if this is a legal case, someone's just like unsure now. So it just isn't worth the effort. You're wasting my time. This devil. Look at the Knight of Cups is underneath the devil. Capricorn energy, you know, it's toxic. No matter if it's an addiction or if it's a controlling person, a liar. I mean, somebody just needs to get away from this. These, this person or this situation betrayed you. And now you're sad and you just want to get away from them. And I feel like you should. I feel like you should do it quick too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Knight of Swords. Very quickly. This person's going to keep challenging you. We could have somebody who's obsessed here. I just noticed that. Is this person obsessed with you like a stalker-like? And they're sending you all kinds of messages and offers and you just want to get away from them. And you can't. And you're going to have to go to the courthouse and get some kind of like legal papers, contracts to get this person away from you. But somebody doesn't want to hear this apology. Definitely feel that. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is you truly desire. So somebody needs to make this decision here to close this chapter. Somebody just isn't happy here. Regardless of whether it's a job, a relationship, a family member even. Like don't just, you know, don't just say, oh, well, they're a family member. So I feel like I got to, um, you know, be obligated because they're part of my family. That's not true. If this person's hurting your feelings and, and you know, a toxic energy, then you just need to get away from them. Everything's okay. Don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. So that's a little bit of reassurance there. Um, I do feel like somebody is um, nervous. So vegetarian to me doesn't always mean vegetarian. Uh, it just mean, means there needs to be a change. Something needs to change so that you're able to manifest this new beginning. Let's pull guardian angels for advice. Guardian angels, what do you have to say for the zodiac sign of Gemini? What do my Gemini friends need to know about this reading on the table? Show them the message they need to see. Ten of thought. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. Hmm. I feel like somebody is afraid to leave. They're just like staying there because I keep hearing the word obligation. I feel like great fortune awaits you if you can start manifesting, like take action. Somebody needs to take action here. Angels, can we have one more? Oh, not all those angels. Hold on. 
one more for the zodiac sign of Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Show them the message. Did I just say somebody needs to take action? <laughs> Six of action. <laughs> what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. That's this person coming in down here, I feel. Coming in very quickly that is going to be the one that's going to help you to get this new beginning and this great fortune. Your project is a total success, bringing awards and promotions and recognition for your efforts. Beautiful. That's six of wands. That's like being, you know, uh, public, publicly noticed, like famous. Somebody going to be famous here? We're going to pull one more, see if the star comes out. <laughs> We got a famous person in the house. All right, there it is. Ta-da! Healer of action. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can also handle difficult situations with grace. So somebody's going through something difficult here. But you know what? It's over. I mean, you got the Ten of Swords. You got the Six of Wands here. It tells me that you're moving forward past this. You're going to leave this in the dust. There's something here with like signing papers, contracts, something that needs to close with this court something here before this can be fully done but it's like it's right there Gemini it's right there I wonder if somebody did create something did somebody like invent something and they're trying to sell it on the internet with all these messages and offers here Letting go of a past business partner and going into business, manifesting business with someone else. And you're going to, um, and that person who, you know, did whatever they did to you, they're going to like beg you to not go and, and stay. And you're just going to have to find the confidence to manifest this new beginning. Let's pull three angel answers. You can start focusing on your question now, Gemini. I'm going to lay three cards face down on the table. Well, that says a year from now. I hope that this isn't going to be a year from now. My goodness, it popped out. I'm not going to use it in Angel Answers, but we will use that one. We'll see if it comes back out. I'd rather you not pick your number, one, two, or three, until all three cards are face down on the table so you can feel the energy. That one, angels, all right. And then once the third card is down, you have to go with your first thought. Go with your gut, follow your instinct. Your first thought is always right. Even if it's a message you don't want to hear, it's a message the angels want you to know. The angels would never lead you in the wrong direction. All right, angels, can we have that one? Okay. There you go, Gemini. Now you can pick one, two, or three. Don't change your mind. Number one, romance. Number two, in the near future. That's better, huh? And number three, reconsider. So somebody has a decision to make here. Do you got some new romance coming in? Do you want to reconsider this old energy that's here? Do you want to go back to this person who it says ended their addiction? Admit your true feelings to yourself, Gemini. Somebody's waiting for a decision over here. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave that there. So don't forget to leave a comment. 
about what you either liked or did not like about this reading. Please don't hurt my feelings. I work very hard on these readings. Be nice. <laughs> I'm nervous. I am off for vacation and I will see you all on June 8th. Thank you so much for watching.